it going everybody welcome back to booze review so in today's video it's pale ales um we've not got many more of these to do now before we can get back onto the spirits as well i was massively stocked up and everything because i went a bit over the top so this was brewed in long island this is from great south bay brewery this is a seven percent uh, alcohol pale ale called massive india um it's got a very interesting can i got this from one of the packs uh, from the, the mismatch pack so uh, that will be the first one we try second will be the wiper and true pale ale um is there anything we need to know about this um okay so delivers a pithy pithy citrus driven uh, flavor to the beer gently bitter hints of dark marmalade okay so this is going to be fruity definitely uh, in, in my opinion anyway um so that's going to be the second one and then the third one is this big colorful bastard uh american pale ale this is a three point that i didn't tell you what this one was did i this is a 5.2 percent so we're slowly getting weaker 3.9 percent uh karma chameleon american pale ale um there's not a great deal of information on this which is okay i do like going in blind sometimes um oh vienna uh, yeah okay so yeah this is this could be nice green dream of super juicy and yeah so all in all i think they're all going to be a little bit juicy a little bit fruity so let's get on with the first one the great south bay um massive india so this one came from the in fact i think all of these came from the mismatch one because i don't think any of these are actually scottish um Thought it was going to pop then it was definitely well and truly carbonated right first look so obviously these are i think yeah these are all pale ales and honestly i've seen paler i've seen pale that's quite dark in color um let's get that topped up there we go that's perfect there what a perfect put you'd be happy with that in a pub wouldn't you i should be getting good at it now i've done enough of these bloody videos it smells funky I'm not going to lie, I'm not a massive fan of the smell. It reminds me very much of when my little boy is filled his nappy. Um, yeah, this is definitely the smell I get when I'm like, dude, you've pooed, right? And he's like, no, but he has. Yeah, I'm going to have to stop smelling it. I really hope it doesn't taste like it smells. Here we go. It doesn't taste like it smells. We're all good. Um, it's not bad, actually. Um, obviously, I need to like get over the bloody traumatic smell. It's very strong, but it is 7%, to be fair. Um, so not to be drunk in bulk, really. Um, oh, there is a bit of a shitty taste, though. There's like an aftertaste to it that's not very nice. And it does taste like it smells a bit. No, do you know what? No, no, I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with that one at all. Um, it's strong at first and it's okay. But I don't mean this in like a horrible or offensive way, but the aftertaste is genuinely shit. <laughs> like, not that I taste it very often, but you know when it smells that bad, that it's the back of your throat. Come on, anyone out there with kids knows what I'm on about. Yeah. Mm. It's not not nice. All right, we're just going to move straight on from that because that went good. So, the Wiper and True Pale Ale. Um, Hop Dollar in series number three. I'm trying to find out where it brewed for you. Um... Oh, who cares? Right, so this is a 5.2%, so it's going to be a fair bit, obviously, not as strong as the uh, the shit beer, the shit ale. But, um, yeah, there's nothing about this that really stands out, like, in terms of, there's nothing in terms of a description. That's a terrible, terrible, terrible pour. I managed to get that one poured whilst just waiting for this one to friggin' settle. <laughs> Um, you win some, you lose some in terms of pouring. I'll blame the smog, like it's Stein. But we might be able to. I don't know. Do you know what? We'll let it go down. Okay. 
final attempt now, just getting this right. Okay, so it's roughly the same colour, the same colour as the one that tasted like pure shit. Um, okay, we're on to a winner already, because it doesn't smell like that, like a filled nappy. Um, yeah, there's not many strong flavours or anything, definitely barley there. Um, Oh, I've got it on my nose. Um, yeah, mainly just like mild hints of barley. Um, but let's give it a try and see how it tastes. Hmm. Not good, not good would definitely be an answer, but I want to go a bit more in depth, let me think. Very coppery, but also like a hint of grapefruit, because I said this one was going to be fruity, didn't I? Um, citrus driven, which I guess grapefruit is a citrus fruit, isn't it, I think, but now... I'm not happy with that. Oh, frig. Fuck me. Right. The last one, which I managed to get Paul whilst waiting for that one to settle. I know these have been, I'm being very blunt with these, but genuinely, I'm not enjoying them. Um, I really wish I was, because I hate, like, waste, especially. So, this was the Karma Ch Chameleon American Pale Ale. Um, so, we need this one to be good to, like, save all of them. Well, save this review. Uh, we're not having another video that's just all bad. Because we've had one before. I mean, it is fucking rubbish. Because I like finishing these off later on. <laughs> right. Oh, it doesn't smell bad. It's a lot like this one. This is genuinely a pale ale. Okay. Yeah. That's nice. There's nothing special or fancy to it at all. But that is absolutely fine. It's just your standard, typical run-of-the-mill ale. Um, malts, extra pale, Vienna, flaked oats, and acidulated malt. The hops, Columbus T9. Okay, we don't need to read any of that because that's just all bloody letters and numbers. But all in all, this one's a lot more enjoyable than the others. This one is definitely going to be the winner. I mean, it wasn't exactly difficult. It just had to not taste like shit or pennies. <laughs> yeah, no. That was good. I like that one. Um, yeah, no. It's definitely more on the fruity side of things. But, like I said, there's, nothing, there's no specific, like, oh, it's orangey, it's, it's this citrus, it's that. Nothing like that, it's just, it's there, you can kind of taste it, but it, it's decent, and I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with this review, because we had two absolute shite beers. Um, other than that, though, sorry. <laughs> Drop me a comment, let me know if there's any pale ales or any sort of alcohol you think I should review, or anything. It doesn't have to be booze if you check out, uh, obviously, if you're watching this through the main channel, uh, everything else, you can recommend me anything. Yeah, <sighs> fucking beer. Reactions, reviews, absolutely anything. We'll give it a go. Um, other than that, though, I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. Otherwise, I'll be hidden under your bed. Bye.